Tuesday was primary day and most of the eyes, at least for those paying attention, were on the race for the United States Senate. The Democratic side, Democratic incumbent Senator Bob Menendez wins his party's nomination, but not without taking some blows. He lost six counties to a relative unknown Lisa McCormack, who essentially ran a campaign on social media. On the Republican side, Bob Hugan, former United States Marine and former head of the Celgene Corporation, won handily on the Republican Republican side for the right to take on Senator Bob Menendez in November. Bob Menendez issued a statement about his opponent, quote, my opponent, greedy drug company CEO Bob Hugan is going to have to answer for his record of driving up prices for cancer patients while making millions for himself. Mr. Hugan is going to have to explain to the people of New Jersey why he denied access to affordable drugs in a way that even Donald Trump's administration said was outrageous. We'll see what happens in the state of New Jersey. As we know, Republican registrations are outnumbered almost two to one by Democrat registrations, but there was a recent poll that had the two men within four points of each other. Okay, let's bring in the Republican nominee, Bob Hugan. Bob, welcome to Chasing News. Hey, Bill, great to be with you. Very exciting day and the start of great things to come. All pointed to November the 6th. Well, first of all, congratulations, uh, decisive victory. I mean, how do you address the fact that New Jersey is a state that has not elected a Republican United States Senator since 1972? Uh, the registrations, Democrat to Republican, almost two to one. How does a candidate like you, how do you overcome that? And what's ahead for your race against Bob Menendez? One thing, Bill, I'm very fortunate to be running against somebody who has failed New Jersey so badly for 25 years. No matter who the president is, Democrat or Republican, we're last, dead last, 50 out of 50 when we'll get, we'll we get back from Washington. And somebody who's embarrassed us, violated federal law, disgraced the Senate, used his power. So that's one thing. The contrast is clear this year. It's an opportunity for us. But also, I'm a Jersey guy. I, I have the values of New Jersey. I think the people are going to realize they care about people. Policies are tune with the, the mainstream of New Jersey. Bob, he attacks you continuously for your role at Celgene, uh, talking about uh, making millions on the backs of cancer patients. What do you say? I say, first of all, for somebody like him to be talking about anything in healthcare and pharmaceuticals specifically, with being one of the biggest funding by taking so much money from the industry and his so-called best friend, Sal Melgan, 67 felony convictions for defrauding Medicare. He lobbied HSS for this guy, trying to make him even make more money and defraud more patients, blind more patients. So let's be careful who we're listening to here. But I'm proud of my career, the jobs we created, the impact we've had on cancer patients. All right, thank you, Bob. Congratulations again and good luck. Joining me now is Essex County freeholder Brendan Gill, who successfully managed Governor Phil Murphy's run for governor. He was also the chief of staff to the late Senator Frank Lautenberg. Brendan, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Good. Bob Menendez, by some counts, would say he had a pretty rough primary day. He lost six counties to a complete unknown who pretty much had a campaign on social media. Does that worry? the senator what do you think i think at the end of the day uh it's about getting the most votes that's what wins elections uh and senator menendez uh received more raw votes uh than any of his uh republican opponents uh combined uh so listen um are you uh you're going to take heed a little bit uh about those primary results yes you're going to pay close attention to it but i firmly believe uh that the good news that came out of yesterday is that we have an energized base uh you see turnout you see enthusiasm up and down the state now senator menendez has been attacking his republican opponent bob hugan for his time at celgene uh calling him a, you know a greedy drug company guy making money on the backs of cancer patients um bob hugan uh for his part has come back and talked about uh, the senator's relationship with Dr. Melgan, who's been right. disgraced and convicted of felonies, defrauding Medicare, uh, and uh, and also the fact that he took you know nearly $300,000 from Big Pharma uh, over the years since 2011. How do you separate that? And is that going to hurt Bob Menendez more if the conversation is about Big Pharma? No, I don't think it's going to hurt Senator Menendez at all. Uh, I think Bob Hugan is going to have to run on his record, uh, and his record was leading a pharmaceutical organization that kept affordable drugs out of the hands of New Jersey residents who really needed that. He will have to defend his record on that. I also think that this race is not going to be a referendum just on those issues that you just mentioned, Bill. I think this race is going to be also a referendum on President Trump uh, sending someone to the United States Senate who's going to be supporting Trump policies, uh, which are inconsistent right now with New Jersey values. That's what you're going to see this campaign, I think, really evolve to. Okay. 
Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate your time. We did invite Senator Bob Menendez to come on. We've actually invited him several times. Hopefully, he'll take us up on an invitation to join us right here on Chasing News before the November election.